Hi everybody, I'm Susan Mulvihill. I'm going to plant some seeds outdoors today. Am I nuts? Well, not entirely. I'm going to use the winter sowing method and I'll show you how to do it. The winter sowing method might sound a little crazy, but it's actually pretty cool. For one thing, it's a pretty hands-off approach. The seeds will germinate when the time is right. They will be acclimated to the intensity of the sunlight and the cooler temperatures, so you don't have to harden them off before transplanting them into your garden. They won't have problems with damping off disease, which is an annoying fungal disease that can wipe out a whole bunch of seedlings and nothing flat. And my favorite part of all is that it frees up space under our grow lights for growing other things indoors. Let's look at the equipment you're going to need. And the great news is it's pretty basic. Containers. The easiest things to work with are one gallon plastic milk jugs, but you can also use half gallon plastic jugs or plastic soda pop bottles. I'll show you how to prep them in just a moment. The main thing you need to keep in mind is that the container you use needs to be able to let light in. Seeds. I'll talk about those in just a moment. Plant tags. Tape. And you can use duct tape, painter's tape, or shipping tape. I haven't had great luck using just regular masking tape for some reason. And then potting soil. So here's your basic one gallon milk jug. And for preparing it, it's a good idea to do it in the order that I show you because it just works better. So first of all, you're going to punch some holes in the top of the container. You're also going to discard the lid because you don't need it. The purpose of these holes and the top is so that if it rains or snows or hails, the soil and the seedlings eventually will get watered. So that might sound like you don't want that to happen, but that is the case. Then you're going to flip it around and punch some drainage holes in the bottom, and that's so that the potting soil inside will not get waterlogged. Then you're going to use either a knife or a utility knife, be very careful, and starting just to the side of where the handle comes out, you're going to make a cut all the way around and stop right before you get to the handle again. So that makes it really easy to have a top for your planting, but you can lift it off a bit so that you can look inside and see how things are doing. Let's talk about seeds. What you want to do is to check your seed packets and look for phrases such as frost tolerant, self sowing, cold hardy, perennial, or direct sow in early spring. Perennials that are hardy to your area are great choices. So things like butterfly weed, gloriosa daisies, and coneflowers. Seeds that normally need cold stratification, like artichokes or New Zealand spinach, can be planted with this method. Cool season vegetables, such as arugula, cabbage, corn salad, which is also known as mosh, onions, leeks, spinach, bok choy, kale, or Swiss chard are all great choices. Annual flowers, such as bachelor buttons, poppies, calendula, cosmos, marigolds, snapdragons, sunflowers, and zinnias. But there are many more, and you'll find a lot of lists on the web that give you great ideas of what you can start with the winter sowing method. Okay, let's go through the steps for planting up your container. First of all, I have lightly moistened some regular potting mix. It isn't anything fancy. It doesn't have fertilizer in it. It doesn't have water retaining polymers. It's just basic sterile potting soil. And then I've got my container. 
So what I'm going to do is just hold it open and I'm going to fill the bottom part of the container about two and a half to three inches deep. And then I'll just push it down so it looks like that. Maybe just a teensy bit more. I'll move this out of the way for the moment. And then when it comes to planting the seeds, I've chosen a Pixie Delight Lupin. Very excited about that. And once I get this packet open, <laughs> come on, I'll just have to tear it. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to take some seeds, and I know that looks like an awful lot. I'll explain that in just a moment. And I'm going to sprinkle them on the surface of the soil. The thing with winter sowing is that you can plant the seeds pretty thickly, and then knowing that when they're young seedlings and you want to transplant them out into your garden, you can gently lift this soil out of here and very gently tease the seedlings apart so you can plant them in your garden. So that's why I have a fair amount of seeds in there. So I'm just pressing them into the soil and I'm actually going to add just a little bit of water. I don't want the potting soil to be just absolutely saturated with water, but just a little bit to help the seeds make good contact with the soil. And I think I'll even add a little bit of soil over the top of them. And that's that. And I'm also pressing it onto the seeds so, again, they make good contact. Okay. Let me close this so I don't lose any seeds. The next step, which is really important, is to add a plant tag to the inside of your container. There's a reason for this. I'm also going to mark on the outside of the container what I've planted, but just on the off chance that that somehow washes away, I will still know exactly what I planted in this particular container. So I've got lupins on here, pixie is the variety. Now on the outside, I can write down lupin, pixie. And it's also kind of fun to add the date. And this is January 2nd. OK, the next step is to tape the top to the bottom with some type of tape that will work for you. This painter's tape works pretty well, but this is something I usually find you need more than one person doing this, <laughs> but I'm going to do my best. So I do it in pieces rather than one long strip all the way around because doing it by myself, that just doesn't work. Ask me how I know this. <laughs> okay. There's some more tape. And a bit more. Whoops. You see why I recommend having someone help you tape it so that everything is done. So I'm going to run one more piece of tape now that everything's held in place. But that's everything as far as planting the containers. So I'm going to plant the rest of my containers with the seeds and then I'll show you where I'm going to put them in the garden so they get lots of sun. Once you have all of your containers planted, taped shut, lids removed, then you want to move them to a nice open area that gets a lot of sunlight. You don't want them under an overhang of a roof like from your house or a carport because you want to make sure 
that when it rains or snows or hails, that moisture is going down into the container. So what I've done is I'm on the southern end of the main part of our vegetable garden and I had to stomp down the snow a little bit to put them where they'll be secure. Now if you have a windy area that you need to put yours in, you might put like a board or some bricks next to them just to make sure they stay upright. But for the most part, they have a little bit of weight to them because of that soil. Well, I hope you'll give winter sowing a try. It is really a lot of fun. It's a great chance to sort of play in the dirt in the winter and you've got all of these wonderful plants to look forward to when they're ready to sprout. Thanks so much for watching today, everybody. I'll see you next week.